everybody and welcome back to another episode of agrarian skies yeah guys so i've been sitting here trying to craft all of those imbued slates i think that's what they are or whatever the second tier is and this is taking a very very long time uh we're doing stacks of the blank slates at a time they are turning into oh reinforced slates i'm sorry not imbued uh they're turning into those reinforced slates but yeah it's taking i don't know a good 20 minutes it seems like per stack all the stacks in our chest are gone. We got four more stacks to go in our item hopper here. And yeah, so we are approaching the end. Um, I was considering, like when I first started this, to set up a second blood altar. Um, what I didn't realize, when you're doing, uh, what is it, the Well of Suffering with these witches up here, it does take out of your LP network. I didn't realize this, whoops, that's the wrong one. I didn't realize this at first, but yeah, you can see right there, it's like 647, 204. If I right click again, it is it has gone down a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, it kind of felt like after I did all those blank slates that since this was going to take twice as long, I would have to fill up my network multiple times during this process. I've only had to do it once. But yeah, I was thinking about setting up another one of these altars so I could have um, my orb my master blood orb in one of these altars, always filling up my LP and another one of these doing this, <laughs> filling up, uh, or I guess crafting. So it'd be another setup just like this with my blood orb. But I think that's what we're going to end up doing eventually. Once we're done with all this mass crafting, just leave my blood orb in there all of the time. And that is going to keep my network full so I can use all the cool blood magic things. But speaking about cool blood magic things, that's something that I want to work on today. Um, I, know that you can make what's called a uh, bound shovel and this thing from what i read on the wiki can dig out a 11 by 11 by 11 area of dirt it costs 10,000 lp from your soul network every time you uh, right click it but that is a lot of blocks really fast and i am very very interested in doing this to help out with the rest of the dirt quest so we need to get ourselves a diamond shovel. You know what? I think I got to craft one. Uh, let's go sleep, craft one of those. And yeah, I think that's what the heck. <laughs> I think that's probably going to be the best thing. Why am I floating? That's weird. Okay. So I, we need a diamond shovel. So we need some sticks. Let's grab two of these guys and a diamond. We only got 300 of those plus 149 blocks. Plus all these and those. Yeah, we're pretty good on diamonds for a while. Okay, and we also need the weak activation crystal. Um, yeah, I took down this ritual of binding, I think is what this is called. It was originally over here. I took it down and then I realized, yeah, we're going to use it for some other stuff. So let's go ahead and do this. I think I have to put the shovel on there first and then hit it with this thing. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think the lightning strikes all the different pillars and sets them all on fire. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, well, there's our shovel. Awesome. Okay, so bound shovel. Uh, no, not that type of spade. Deactivated. So if you take it and you right click it, shift right click it, it turns it on and it's going to start drawing from your network. I think that's how that works. I know it says that every time you right click it, like you use it to dig, it um, takes like 10,000 LP of your network. Let's check this out. So we got plenty of LP in there for right now and we're just about done crafting. So I'm gonna head over to the nether. Let's drop some stuff off real quick. Uh, let's do this. So we'll drop off. We're gonna want the magnet. I'm pretty sure we can drop off the book, the wrench. We're not gonna need that because we don't have that shovel anymore. Uh, master blood orb. Yep. Okay. I think that should be fine. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty interested in trying this out. I've never tested this yet. Um, I've only read what it said on the wiki. So this could be really, really awesome. Now the only thing, what was that? Oh, I must've killed a zombie pigman. Uh, the only thing though, is that all this nether rack has ra random lava blocks in it. So digging that dirt could end up being pretty bad. I'm going to want to leave my jetpack. Oh man, look at all this dirt. I think this might have finished. Yeah, I'm going to want to leave my jetpack on hover mode or whatever, just so I don't fall to my death or whatever, or fall into lava. 
Yeah, okay, so this is the original one that we dug out. It's got most of the dirt gone. There's a little bit down there I never really took out. This is what I've been working on over here. Yeah, I've been digging this out with the flux and fuse shovel. This is taking forever, but it does feel like it's done. Yep, I'm gonna have to say it is. So let's turn this thing on, and let's give this thing a good... Oh, is that another thing? Do you gotta be standing on this thing? Oh, you gotta right click it? Okay, got it. Right click, right click. I thought it said it was like an 11 by 11 area. It doesn't really feel like that. I mean, 11 by 11 by 11. Like what happens if we're down here? Ew. Okay, well that's pretty awesome. But yeah, you can see right there, there's a lot of dirt. That could really be an issue. Oh, I'm sorry, not dirt, <laughs> lava. So how's our network doing? Okay. So let's try this again. And now how is our network doing? Yeah, that does use up 10,000 every time you use it. But that is so much quicker. I should probably turn this thing off. That, oh, you can't even mine anything with this? Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, that is so much quicker than doing it with the other thing. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is using this method uh, to mine the rest of the dirt. But I think I'm gonna have to wait until the crafting's done so we can be putting more LP into our network all of the time. But yeah, that's really, really awesome. Okay, so great. Right, so let's head back. Um, there's a couple other things that I want to do. Okay, now we're getting gas spawning. <laughs> Gotta juke them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can get me. Okay, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so a few more things that I want to do today. So the witches that we have over there filling up our network. Um, generally speaking, they stay there. They're probably still going to be there when we come back. Yeah, they're still over there. They're still taking damage. Um, oh, that's cool. You can sell them off. What I've seen before is like if I'm hanging out over here for a little while, they end up despawning. Uh, it looks like they're gone, but they're still there. Yeah, they end up... What the heck is this cat doing? <laughs> yeah, they end up despawning, and that's kind of a problem. So I want to fix that. Um, so a thing that we could do to fix that is you can use like a Jailer Safari net. If you place the witch down, it won't despawn, which can work. Uh, what I think I want to do, though, is I want to make a vanilla name tag. Mobs that have a name, name tab, name tag. Mobs that have a name tag on them never despawn. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to grab a witch. We're going to name it. What should we name it? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. We have an anvil here. Let's just name it... Witchy, Witchy the Witch. Yeah, that's there's a good name. Okay, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and grab a witch, uh, put the name tag on. Then when we spawn them, we can spawn the witches. Uh, what is that called? Exact copy. So let's get this one. Put the witch down here. Name tag. Gotcha. <laughs> witchy, Witchy the Witch. Okay, so now we got a witch that's named. So if we put this witch back in here, or the safari now, spawn exact, copy, yes. Now, we can go ahead and get rid of these guys down here. We can just go and kill them. We don't need these witches anymore. Uh, we can go ahead and spawn exact copies. They'll all be named. And that way, uh, these witches should never despawn. So that's going to be really, really awesome. Um, one good thing about killing these witches when they are, like, taking potions or whatever, you can actually get potions every once in a while. Like, I've gotten some empty bottles, which is pretty normal, but, yeah, like, if these things are fighting each other, let's see if we can aggro them. If they're fighting each other, they're going to start taking, like, a lot of health potions. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, they're going to start taking a lot of health potions, regen potions, and things like that, and we can get those as possible drops. Uh, yep. Doesn't look like we're getting lucky, though. Okay, well, I'll tell you guys what. Let me go and get rid of these witches. I'm going to spawn a whole bunch of the ones with the name tags, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So the witches went ahead and respawned, and we have the new ones here. Although it's kind of hard to tell, uh, they are named. If we get up to them, we can see on the tooltip at the top that says witchy. Um, yeah, when we point at them, you can kind of see the name tag appear. But, yeah, you got to be pretty close to these things to even tell they have a name tag. But now that they are named, they really shouldn't despawn. I'd be surprised they did, but I'm pretty sure the Minecraft rules say a named mob can't despawn. So yeah, that's really awesome. So one more thing that I want to do, let's see our network. Yeah, we're under 500,000. 
And this thing right here is staying pretty much full, more or less. Uh, one thing that I want to do is once the crafting finishes up, I want to start filling up my LP network once again, my soul network or whatever you call that thing. So we're going to need my master blood orb. Yeah, let's go and grab this guy. And yeah, those are in the right spot. So we can stick that here. So this stack should go in and craft. Then this stack should go in and craft. And then my blood orb should go in here and just kind of hang out. Um, actually, is this... I can't remember if I had set this thing up before. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so yeah, we have this set to blacklist. So it's not gonna pull out blank slates and it's not gonna pull out the master blood orb. Yeah, that's right. I set that up before when I had to uh, fill up my network previously. So yeah, that's good. So the orb will come in here, it'll start filling up and it'll just stay in here for forever. So that is great. Uh, we can start on part of these quests though. See the quest book here. Uh, where was that? Was it for the hoarding? I think it might have been. So runes of magic, they wanted us... Oh no, we can't do this particular one. Maybe it was this one. Ritual preparations? Oh, maybe it was this one we can do. I'm not sure. <laughs> Rune of sacrifice. So we need two stacks of these and rune of self-sacrifice. So let's check this out again. Rune of sacrifice. Okay, so that's a reinforced slate plus the flux electrum ingot. Yeah, we can go ahead and craft these guys. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to make the Flux Electrum Ingot. Oh man, so what we're gonna need four, no, we're gonna need eight stacks of these Flux Electrum Ingots. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, uh, we need two stacks of the Reinforced Slates. No, we need four stacks. Let's see, two stacks of those would make one stack of these. Four stacks make one stack. So yeah, we need four stacks of the Reinforced Slate and eight stacks of the Flux Electrum. Okay, so we have, yeah, those four stacks. Okay, so we're good on that. Uh, the Re, or the Electrum, what is this stuff called? Flux Electrum Ingot. So we have 18 of those. So we essentially have to make all of those. Okay, so how do you make these again? It's been a while. So it's Pyrothium Dust plus Flux Electrum Blend. And that gets us two, so we need to make two stacks of Flux Electrum Blend. How do you make these? Electrum Blend with Destabilized Redstone. Okay, so the Electrum Blend is Pulverized Silver and Gold. Or I think... No, I think that's what we gotta do. Or we can make the Electrum Ingot straight away. Uh, pulverized Silver and Gold. Now that is the ex Nilaho stuff. That is not what we need. Uh, okay, so we don't have that. So let's grab two silver ingots, gold. We might have gold dust. Oh, we got pulverized gold, nice. So that should make us go a little bit quicker here. And then I'm not sure what it said, how much of that redstone we needed. Let's actually look real quick. Uh, the destabilized redstone. Uh, flex this one. 200 millibuckets, so that's two redstone each, which is a lot okay so we'll have to figure that out too all right so we can go ahead and break these up a little bit we can do those in half stacks and just go and stick those in our pulverizers okay i'm gonna have to go ahead and make sure that this is not set up to automatically be smelted over here uh because we could be undoing what we're doing yeah i think it might be nope get out of there silver get out of there nope stop <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're probably gonna have to smelt up a few more of those ingots. Let's go ahead and do like, I don't know, 16 more just to make sure we have enough. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and go. Uh, so I tell you guys what, I'm gonna melt down some redstone and get that electron blend going. Uh, we also need, what was that, the pyrothium dust? I forget how you make this stuff. So that's so far we got plenty, pulverized coal, redstone, and blaze powder. Um, please powder, do we have? Okay, we got 536 blaze powder, 42 blaze rods. We are fine on that. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and start crafting that stuff up and we'll be right back. Oh my goodness, guys, that took so long for the crafting to finish up over here and then to make all the flux electrum ingots and the blend and all that stuff, my goodness. Whew, okay, so that is all done. We have all of these made now. Oh man, that was a long time. Um, yeah, we're also gonna make the other ones, the self-sacrifice. We need eight of these. 
for uh, to finish that quest on top of the two stacks of the sacrifice ones. So let's actually take a look at the book real quick. Where is the book? Uh, yeah, Rune of, self, uh, Rune of Sacrifice, we need 128. Rune of Self Sacrifice, we only need eight of those. So let's do the Rune of Self Sacrifice first since this will be quick. Um, I do have enough of this Endearium. I was looking at that. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to craft it up or not, but we had a stack plus you know a few loose pieces uh, from when I mass produced those earlier. So I think it was the Apprentice Orb for this. Yeah, so we need... I'm not going to shift click this. I only want to make the eight that we need. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So that's done. Uh, so now the Rune of Sacrifice, we need two stacks of these. So let's get those guys going. And we can go and put those in our system. And we're going to need these guys in there as well. Okay, so one, two. <laughs> Man, how much of this flux do we have left? 14. We have like, what is it, 18 with these right here? What about these reinforced? Okay, so we have a little over a stack of those in the system. Okay, very good, but that takes care of that quest. <laughs> that was a lot of crafting for all of that, my goodness. Okay, so let's manually submit those. Okay, so we get a full heart and a reward bag. Let's claim that reward. All right, legendary reward bag, Oh yeah. Let's hope for something really good. Oh, wow. So, oh my god reward so that is actually pretty cool uh it's not super expensive for this pyrothium dust um oh well i mean it's it's not bad i don't know if we're gonna get much use out of this actually you know what that's probably not true because uh if we come over here let's see where is it go with the flow i think yeah we need to do pyrothium one bucket and most of these quests that we've unlocked like the mob essence unlocked one um, that required a whole bunch of that stuff. So maybe that pyrothium will really come in handy for that. Okay. Uh, let's see what else, what else? Um, so for the hoarding, come back here. I think we could probably do this other one. So ritual stones, we need to make a thousand of those. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Okay. So let us grab our other reinforced slates we got going on over here. By the way, uh, yeah, it, my... Orb went right into the thing, and now we have full LP in our network. So that is really, really cool. Okay, so let's grab all of those. Um, I was also playing around with this air sigil while I was just kind of waiting for stuff to craft. Since we have unlimited stuff in our LP network, I'm just sitting here holding right click. Actually, let me turn off my jetpack. So I'm just sitting here holding right click, just flying up and flying down and stuff. Man, this thing is really, really awesome. And I was also wondering if this was going to... Uh, Oop, give me up on a cloud or something. I was wondering if this was going to make my network run out of stuff. Let's actually, let's not do that because I'm going to die. Let me sit down somewhere. Come on. Okay. So I was looking at, where is it? This guy right here. So yeah, after flying all that time, my network is still 100% full. <laughs> so this thing is cool. So I was just sitting here waiting for all that stuff to craft, just sitting here flying around with this and doing whatever. Yeah, this thing is a lot of fun just to kind of derp around with. Okay, so we wanted to make a thousand ritual stones. Let's get into our crafting area over here. Put that away. Put all of those guys away. My goodness, that was a lot of crafting for all of that stuff. Okay, was it a ritual stone? Actually, let me double check before we make the wrong thing. This is, yes, 1,000 Ritual Stones. So, Ritual Stone, Master, no, this one. Oh, that also requires Obsidian. I don't know if we're going to have enough for that. So, you get four per craft. Hopefully, we have enough. I know I made a lot of Obsidian before. Uh, yeah, we got 600, but that should be enough. Okay, and I think that also required the Apprentice Orb. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh oh, we ran out of obsidian. Ah, okay. Well, that's fine. We're going to have to make more obsidian to get this done. Let's submit what we got so far. Okay, so that's 600. Uh, we need another 400. <laughs> so we need about 400 more of our uh, obsidian. So igneous extruder, we won't be able to get this done today, unfortunately. But we can go ahead and set up the igneous extruder. Uh, put lava into that and start making 
Uh, obsidian once again. So we're going to need... Do we have any tesseracts? We don't. Oh, man. Does this, this one right here is making water. So we can set up another temporary thing. You can do that. So that's already got water in it. Uh, we need an export, fluid export bus. We're going to put lava into this guy. You know, I should probably turn this or something. Let's see. Now I guess we can just put the lava in from right there. Uh, so we need a keyboard. Keyboard. If I put both hands on the keyboard, it's easier to type in an import. Actually, I guess we could just do an interface. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and stick that right like that, and we'll put an interface on the back. Yeah, this is ugly, but it's just a temporary thing. All right, stick that guy there. So now we need a bucket of lava. We don't have a bucket of lava. Hmm, do we have any lava in our system? We got a whole bunch. So let's grab a bucket. And we will click this, do that. Now we got a bucket of lava. So we can set the export on this thing to be buckets at a time full of lava. And we need to set this thing so the top is blue, the back is red, and we want it this set on obsidian. Okay, so unfortunately this actually takes a little bit of time per craft, per piece of obsidian, but this is just gonna be going in the background while I'm doing other stuff, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, all the obsidian is gonna end up here, gonna be sucked right back into my Emmy system. Oh yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay. So we can't finish this quest up. We got a good start on it. Uh, I didn't realize we were going to run out of the obsidian like that. Uh, one more thing. Let's head back to the nether. All right, guys. So here we are back in the nether. Um, I spent a little bit of time figuring out the shovel, uh, the bound shovel. Now that we have our network completely filling back up with LP, so we can play around with this a little bit more. Uh, but what I was looking at is that uh, it does do 11 high. You just have to be at the bottom of that 11 high area. Four, five, six, I think it's about right here. So if I right click, yeah, it destroys all of the dirt in that area. That is so, so good. So here I could just kind of come up in this, right click, there we go. <laughs> That's a lot of dirt. And that all goes right into my inventory. It's so good. I love this shovel. Let's check our network. Okay, so we use a little bit, but that's refilling quite quickly. We don't really have to worry about that. Uh, I do want to plug up any of these lava. Whoops, 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 careful. Do you want to plug up any of that lava that we see? Uh, so when we do right click, it doesn't spill all over our face. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this other one going here. So let's see. I think that's about the center right there. Two, three, four, five, six, something like that. Right click. Oh, got too much. Whoa, that's a lot of lava. Can I... Fly out of there, please. <laughs> okay, well, all that extra dirt, uh, unfortunately, burned up because, uh, yeah. Where'd that gas go? Because I was in the lava. Um, if that lava wasn't there, whoop, you know what? I'm going to take, like, half a stack of this so I can put out the rest of this lava. If that lava wasn't there, yeah, it just would have been floating around, and I would have been able to put it into that chest. But, yeah, unfortunately, that was an issue. Oh, is this? Oh, this was still going away. Okay, so if I wasn't so hasty about it uh <laughs> yeah we wouldn't have had to deal with that lava okay so let's try this a couple more times this is really cool i love this shovel this is so much better than that flux shovel that i was using before oh this is gonna save so much time we're gonna get this dirt quest done literally in no time at all <laughs> yeah but you do gotta watch out for the lava spills oh my goodness okay so let's put that out and put that out Awesome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.